This is a complete EV Max review. It's one of the newest live streaming apps on the market and it ranked very highly in our best live streaming software roundups for both Mac and PC. So could this be the best live streaming platform right now? Let's find out. So EVMux is really the new kid on the block when it comes to live streaming platforms, live streaming software. And it seems it has taken a lot of inspiration from a lot of the other top options out there to build out a really impressive feature list. It is really easy to use. It's got a really intuitive interface. It's very similar to StreamYard, also to BeLive, to Wave, and to a few others as well. And just like a lot of those, they're all browser-based, so you don't need to download and install anything onto your computer. It literally runs in your web browser. They make it really easy to switch between different preset templates for the looks and the layouts of your stream. So you can easily switch between a 50-50 screen split, a picture-in-picture -picture view, your screen shares, and you can easily bring in guests into your stream too. I really like the dashboard area when you first log in. You can see all of your previous streams. You can reuse those as templates or as presets for future live streams and you can also set up new and upcoming streams from there as well. So you even have the ability in here to set up profiles for any speakers or guests that you're going to be bringing into your live streams as well. Now when you're setting up your live stream you have the option to choose from a single broadcast which you can set up and duplicate as well or you can actually set your stream up as a multi-session event. So if you are going to be doing say a weekly show, a daily live stream or even doing something like a live launch then there is a dedicated option to help you streamline that process. You can also easily schedule up your live streams ahead of time on this dashboard too. Now, just like StreamYard and a lot of the other options out there, there are built-in themes and templates that you can use in terms of the graphics and the fonts for all of your titles and comments and things that you can easily bring up while you're live. But EVMux takes this one step further and gives you access to some built-in animated titles that you can use in your streams as well. And they are fully customizable and they update in real time. So if you wanna quickly add in an animated lower third there's some presets in there for you to choose from and you can customize them up on the fly. And you can then apply those customizations and those changes across all the scenes in your project too. Now it does still support playing regular videos as well. So if you do want some full custom animations, then you can still use a service like Placeit, where you can create full custom animation graphics and titles and things, download them, upload them into your live streaming tool like EVMux, and you're good to go with those as well. So not only does EVMux have animated customizable titles, you can also add in animated stings or transitions between your scenes as well and customize them up. Now I feel like I'm saying customize a lot, but that really is one of the big power features with EVMux is how customizable it is. So while we've got access to those default template scenes where you could have 50-50 screen split, picture in picture, all of those things. For those people that want that next level of customization, you can also enable pro scenes, which really give you the ability to dial everything in. So you can easily go ahead and create your own custom scenes with a mix of webcams, with a mix of videos, overlays, graphics, even animated backgrounds with the ability to crop and scale even your webcams to dial in the look and feel that you want for your live streams. And this to me really is a standout feature. There's not too many other options out there that give you this level of customization, especially ones that just run in your web browser. And it's also done in a way which is really easy to use and really intuitive. So you're not gonna be fumbling through menus and menus to customize up and get things looking the way you want. It's literally drag and drop and tools that you'll be used to. Another big standout feature for me is local ISO recording or isolated recording. So you not only have the ability to record your live event from the cloud and download a version from that, you also have the ability to enable local ISO recording, which means it's actually recording your videos very similar to how Riverside does it is locally recording your cameras your webcams and likewise if you've got a guest that you're bringing in it's going to be locally recording on their end and then at the end of the stream it's going to upload them all to evmux where you can download the best quality recording from each of the cameras or guests that you have in your live stream meaning that you can have a much higher quality version that you could then edit down afterwards or repurpose having it look good on other platforms too so regardless of whether you're actually going live or not you could use evmux with with this functionality to record high quality interviews and podcasts and things as well. Now, if you are gonna be bringing guests into your live stream, EVMux has a dedicated green room. And this is something that a lot of the other tools don't have. So you actually have the ability to hang out and connect and talk with other guests that are backstage waiting to go into the live stream. 
So your guests aren't just sitting there waiting to come on, they can actually connect and engage with other people that are backstage too. And not only do you have the ability to communicate with your guests through just text and chat, there's also a built-in push to talk feature, which again is something you normally only find in really professional grade software. So you're not just limited to text, you can use voice as well and it's private, so it's not gonna get pushed out to your live stream. They've also recently enabled keyboard shortcuts, so you can easily switch between your different scenes while you're live, but it also means that you can use things like the Elgato Stream Deck to program up your stream as well. And there's also the ability to have co-hosts or even invite your team to help people manage and run your streams. Now, in terms of the downsides or the things to be aware of, so far in my experience and all my testing, I haven't been able to get it to log in on a mobile device. I just get presented with a message that says it will work with Chrome. So even using Chrome on iOS and Android, I still haven't been able to log in from the phone. Now, what you can do on the phone is you can join as a guest. So this can be how you can add multiple cameras and things into your stream. But if you're looking to run a stream and go live on EVMux through your phone, so far, I haven't been able to get that going. There also doesn't seem to be a way to remove or to kick someone out of your live stream either. So you can bring someone in as a guest, you can kick them back to the green room, but to totally remove them from the stream and the green room and everything, there doesn't seem to be a way to do that yet. So yeah, it's something pretty minor, but if you accidentally leaked the link for people to join your stream, and you've had a ton of people trying to join that you don't ever wanna bring on to the actual live stream, then it would be nice to be able to kick out or to ban people from doing that. Again, definitely not deal breakers, and these could be something that's already fixed by the time that this video comes out. And that's something I've got to give big props to the EVMux team. These guys are running out new features fast. They are actively listening to the community, looking at what's worked and what hasn't worked with a lot of the other options out there, and they're really building out this amazing tool with the community and usability in mind. Now, in regards to pricing, there are three options. There is a free plan, which gives you access to a ton of features, but it does have the EVMux watermark on it. So if you wanna remove the watermark, then you will need to jump on the basic plan starting at $19 per month if you're paying annually. And that's also gonna increase the number of destinations that you can multi-stream to from two on the free plan up to four in the paid one. Or if you're looking to multi-stream to more destinations up to nine, and you're interested in that ISO video recording and inviting your team into your account and that's where you need to jump on the pro plan for $39 a month. So overall, ridiculously cheap given the features and everything that you get in here. So EVMux is one of my favorite live streaming tools available right now. I think it's a great mix of the simple, easy to use tools, but also the amount of customization that you get for those people that want it too and the fact that it runs in your web browser so you can use it on Mac and PC, it really does make it a pretty compelling offering. And I really think it's a great all-rounder for someone, whether you're just looking for super simple live streams with those default templates, default presets and things, you don't need to go in and customize everything up. So if that's you and you just wanna keep stuff simple, then EVMux could be a great option for you. But then for those people that do wanna move stuff around, crop their webcams, really tailor up their scenes, then obviously it's got that stuff in there too. And that's why I think it is a great all-rounder. And again, with the rate that they're rolling out new features, I'm pumped to see where they take this in the next six to 12 months. Now, if you wanna see how EVMux stacks up against the other top live streaming software right now, then check out our 2022 review of the best live streaming software for PC and Mac, which are linked on screen. And don't forget to check out the links in the description to other resources that will help you level up your live streams as well. See you in there.